My name is Mabel Esinake. It happened in year 2020, August 2020 to be precise. I noticed this little rash on my face and I thought it was a normal pimple. But before I could know it, it deteriorated and it was something else. I consulted the hospital, the dermatologist, and several tests was conducted on me and they told me I, I have acne. I was surprised and I was like, how come? The dermatologist tried all her possible best. The medication was provided, but to no avail. So it happened in, during the global crusade at um, Bayasa in March. I joined our location at Abia where the global crusade was transmitted via satellite. And I believed in God. And when our daddy was praying, he said, place your hand where you have the problem and raise up your hand. So I placed my hand on my face and I was rubbing my face while I raised up my right hand. And I was having severe headache as a result of the acne that always wake me up around 2 a.m. in the night. So immediately the final amen, what I noticed was that the headache was no more. I could not feel the pain. And I was happy, so I went home. But at the middle of the night, the headache woke me up again. I wanted to pick the drugs as usual and my mind said no don't do that your father and the lord has prayed for you why not claim it i went to sleep and so god be the glory the next morning i woke up i looked at my face on the mirror the thing all of a sudden i don't know they just vanished i was not seeing the acne again the headache was no more there i was rejoicing i went to the office immediately i stepped at the office from the staff entrance it was my manager that saw me first and he shouted, what, Pastor Pekin, where did you go to? What happened to you? And I said, my pastor, my father in the Lord, prayed for me. And I woke up. The healing was dead. And since, 20, since 2020 to 2022, they have suffered that problem. And in 2022, in March, and God healed me. Up to this moment, there has not been headache, no acne again. No pimple again. God has made me beautiful again, and I am now looking good. My son, that was dead after four days, through the prayer of the man of God, he turned back to life. Glory be to God. My name is Okun Buffett. I'm here with my son, Prince Wirokun, the only son in the family, and he fell down on 14 of our girls. 2022 inside the room and after some days he complained of pains and we rushed him to the hospital and after all medical examination the test and the scan and they told us that there was internal bleeding inside and as a result of that caused infection which actually collapsed all the major organs and then it was at the state of coma and then there was no hope and the doctors lose the hope and give us no hope but we have hope in God. On that day when I look my son on a sick bed and the doctor said no hope I was like how can it happen when I asked God for this child and God gave him to me he did not give me a dead child, neither a sick child, but he gave me a, li a live child. And I saw him in that condition. I was like, can it be? But I give glory to Almighty God, who brought Prince Will from the wall of death to the wall of life. On 25th, that was the first day of GCK in Ondo State. And at the time the pastor uh, came up and we took the phone, 